okay so you can now see that we click down the sign link or not so it clicked so we are here okay we click down sign link we are here for 10 seconds however somebody asked about whether you can use xpath so i will copy the xpath now and see what happens okay so i'll put xpath instead of css and see what happens okay if this works then that, that means that uh, this supports both okay yes, yes is working okay so that means that you can use xpath and css both in the place of selector which is a great great news okay so yes so we are able to click on the login page click go to click go to login page so the things are so now if you want to implement the new things like this okay so what you have to do is for now you have to use there is one one plugin okay cucumber step plugin for cucumber step generator uh, for uh, uh, chrome plugin so we got some plugin which we can use it okay which which is a better one okay tidy gherkin i think that is the plugin okay See this study that can what it does is it will help us to get our code in JavaScript also. Okay, so let me install that. Okay, so what is my Gherkin right now? My Gherkin is this. So this isn't it? Okay, put this and get the JS. That's it. See how easy it is. Okay, so. This is a magic, guys. What I did, I, I have done anything. I just used a small plugin because for me to get that steps right to all these things, assuming the cucumber uh, regular expression is a big headache. So what I did right now, I just did something like this. Okay. Now see that what I will do is I will. If you want, I can copy four also or every, everything, but that's fine for now. I'm using this. So this is my username. And this will be my password. Do we need a callback? We, know we don't need a callback. Get that out of my way. That's it. Okay. So what I will do now is, that's it. So now it will pass on my username and password. So console.log username plus password. I'm just printing. That's it. Okay. I said, are you there? Hello? I said, yeah. Hello. Yeah. I said, yeah, I think I am expecting a lady voice. <laughs> I said, yeah, you are there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay, yeah, thanks. Okay. Cool. Okay, so you can see that this tidy Gherkin is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh app that we just launched okay which was which is which helped us okay so what i did is it's a google chrome play store i had done by okay so i can convert my steps okay so this this steps i did i was i can go like this and i can get my steps generated in javascript okay so now what i did i just went and pasted it now see what i so now i'm expecting that after that going to login password to not actually do anything but it will just copy paste okay so why and uh, because of this so actually what is the what is the notation here what that we have to use and we can use when actually and itself is not present i think or it is present i think it should be present okay because this is all coming from cucumber guys if you got any questions about cucumber you can go to cucumber js cucumber js cucumber js website and get the clarification okay so because and is not and is existing or not is that is my question okay so what i will do is i'll go to cucumber and cucumber js is my normal documentation and then here
I think we lost your voice. Jatesh and Sayed, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Aishriya. Yeah, yeah um, I have one question. It is like when we uh, run the run a cucumber file, we will get the definition, isn't it? Why do we need an ID? Uh, uh, yeah, usually in Selenium WebDriver, we do it like that. That's correct. Yeah, that's what I have the same doubt. Uh, but because I have never ran in uh, this environment, JavaScript environment, we can try it by running it directly. Yeah, from, and when we run it, usually in Java, it gives us. Yeah, it automatically generates the step definition files. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, before the session, he got some errors. The same error I also got. He didn't tell us like what error, uh, what fix he did to. Um, what is the error regarding? I mean, I didn't follow um, a bit, uh, bits and pieces. It is like when uh, when I was following the same steps, I got an error saying uh, cannot find the folder uh, feature step definition. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I think that's that step. I mean, while running that step, it is not trying to find the related step definition file, right? Yeah, yeah. And I don't. Did he tell any fix for that? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, one well, actually in uh, Selenium web driver. Uh, there is a command called dry run equal to false or true. Yeah. yeah. Whenever we set the dry run equal to false, I think or true, I didn't remember. It generates the mm -hmm. step definition file automatically. Okay. So, but to run that step definition file, to execute that step de step definition file, we need to change the parameter for the dry run as true, I think. True or false. I mean, vice versa. Okay. Yeah. Probably I can share that file with you. I have that one probably. That's okay. It. One second, I'm sharing that one in the chat. Okay, thank you. Here it will be like this. This is the test runner file. These are all uh, JUnit, uh, you know, uh, what do you call uh, annotations. The rate run with is a JUnit class. Yeah, I think Sidam is back. Yeah. yeah, guys, sorry, guys. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, sorry for that. Yes. Sridham, I have two questions, Sridham. Yes. Uh, it is like usually when a, when we run um, a feature file in uh, Selenium Java, we it is like it'll give a it'll give the step definitions. But here, um, why do we need the plugin from Chrome to get the step definitions? Because there is cucumber. So because if you if you remember, it, it will skip the test, but it won't actually give a snippet. Okay, because you know. We got three. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
So because this step is not implemented, it will skip it. It will not give a snippet for us. So that functionality is not there here. Okay. Okay. So that is not there here. That is the reason why <laughs> we have to use it ID Okay. And the second question is like, I was getting the same error which you got before uh, we went for the break. Like uh, it was not able to find the step. Okay. Yes, fine. Okay, so what you have to do is, I think the fix for that is go to config file. Yeah. And uh, did you create any JavaScript file? No, I didn't create any JavaScript file. Okay, so under the step definitions, you need to create one JavaScript file like this. Okay, step.js. Step.js and then give that full file name here as well. Okay. So, one second, one second, Sidam. Here we have option called dry run, right? Dry run. No, no, you forgot about that for now, Jagdish. Okay. Let us keep on this, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that is different. Okay, so uh, Aisha, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. You have to give a full path, then it will work. Okay, uh, Sidam, can you just copy that line and uh, send it to me in chat, please? Yes, sure. Uh, why I'm asking about dry run is like if you put dry run as true, I think it will automatically generate the steps. Oh, for dry run is a different thing, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so now you can see if you can see my screen, guys. Okay, so now we got. Uh, okay, so now we executed these three steps. And I got the value. So now if you see this particular method, which is very important, that method is giving two parameters into the function, just like Cucumber uh, Java Selenium. So it gives username and password. In that password you can put, I, I was just to bring the password. Now the value is coming into the method. The only thing that I need to do is I need to send the keys into username and password and click on the submit button. Okay. And finally I need to check that I am able to successfully log in or not. Yes or no? Okay, so again for that, for now again, the same thing, browser dot send keys or type. Okay, it may always good to have your API. Set send value. keys. No, set, set value. value. Okay, yeah. sorry, set value. Mm. Okay. Yes, set value. Okay. So just make sure that guys, I'm telling you, whenever you are doing something, make sure that you see the APIs properly. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so what I'll do is, okay, here, what is my locator? My locator for now is, Okay, I'm just, yeah, I'm still using the CSS only, don't worry. Okay, first parameter is this, second parameter is your username, okay. Similarly, Okay, actually we can use this types also. I don't know why that guy is not giving. Okay. So I will add my own CSS guys. Okay. So I know it is copying is an easy thing for me. You can copy it like this, but so I don't know why I'm not, I'm, I don't really like the way that they're giving long, long ones. Okay. So what I will do is simply I will put like this. Okay. See, writing CSS, I think you people, if you don't know, uh, learn, but uh, it is, it is, an, it is a very important thing, okay? So what I'll do is input put is equal to password. Okay, because I'm using this, I'll do the double quotes, okay? See, this is a, our way to write as your CSS. And you should, but you should be very confident on writing that. This is an expert, writing CSS and expert is a different art. Okay, so click this. Now I need to get the locator of this. Okay, so mm, yeah, okay, so that is fine. But there may be some API to click on a button. That's what I'm looking. So 
here submit button reference okay. button but this is button number submit form sorry submit form is the button. but is i think this is not a submit i think this is is this a submit form otherwise you just click that Located. Because it's a form, no form. Yeah, it is submit yeah. form, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's submit form. Yeah. So we can do submit form, guys. Okay. I'm just checking for form here. Form is there. So because form is there, so we can check submit form. Okay. That's simple. Ah, but we do we need just only selector. Why do we need a selector for this? Oh, the form, form, form selector. Uh, right, this is same or uh, then it's yes, the clean. same thing, right? And this unfortunately form don't have anything. Yeah. It's better to go with the, with this only. Okay, so get your selector and type this. Okay, so once we do this, then what happens? Username and password and the click button dot click. Okay, so we can it will submit. So what is the next step? Next step is uh, go to trading again and uh, make sure that we got our password thing. Okay, so for password. Oh, you should be logged in successfully. You should be logged in successfully. This it this one. Okay. See, callback is given, but we don't need to use that. Okay, so remove that, remove that. So now this is the time where we need to use our expectations. Okay, we need to use chai promises. Hmm, chai, 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 time to have a chai. Okay, so for that we need to again install chai as our global variable. Okay, so let me get some code and then I will I will use it. So where is my uh, things? Okay. So we need to use something like uh, yes, should be equal to. Okay. So to we need to implement uh, that some text is present, right? Okay. So for that uh, we need to use chai promises, guys. Again, the new thing that we are inventing because we are not using Jasmine now, so we need to use Chai. The Chai, we need to get the Chai Chai promises. So for that, again, it's better to go to the website which is providing. Um, go to Chai.js. So see, thing is, I just want to make sure that I had properly got uh, the libraries. Okay. So I know guys, you know, we are now still in the global mode, which is not a great thing, really, really. We have to install everything locally, but maybe for this class, just just, just leave like this, okay? So now we got Chai installed globally. Uh, so the implementation for the Chai, we need to do some kind of, you know, um, we need to get some kind of a line uh, of code in the top, which is nothing but we need to define something. Okay, so use chai in web driver. So this, with just one line we need to import from the top. Okay, that's what I want. Uh, that is like a chai, you expect something like yeah, that. Expert. Okay, mm, I think that mm, this is chai web driver I will. Huh. Chai okay. Mm. Okay, so there's something interesting here, which is a Chai web driver I.O. Okay, I think this is what yes, I'm looking, guys. So we've got Chai, Chai as use. Okay, I think this is so great, yeah. So why don't we use this Chai web driver I.O. as well? Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll install this. Okay, which is take one second time, then I just copy paste this, this code. Okay, which is very important. Then what I'll do is try to expect we can directly use this, which is nice. We can directly use the expect here. Okay, so what I'll do is, I will now go to our framework, which is this, and then start using this. Okay, so once that is done, so now I'm expecting that, 
I will just copy this line of code and instead of that heading, so what will have to happen if it's successfully logged in? Let us manually go and check how to get my checkpoint. So I'm going like this, sign in, once the sign in is successful, I need to get something which should be very careful because yesterday we got a problem with the, the thingy. Okay. So what I'm going to expect once you logged in successfully, so we need to show something like this, right? Okay. Okay, I will get this copy selector. Okay, so this is the selector for now. Okay, that should have your no articles yet. This text. Okay. Make sense? So now Chai expects. So I'm not even getting a value direct like it expects because I got some hybrid library which is like this. But before that, I need to make sure that my two things are working. So now I've got everything in global, but maybe next class we'll put it in package.json because I'm very good, getting very frustrated that we are not using uh, package.json. Cannot find module chai, huh? okay. Cannot find module chai. Required chai. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is the reason why guys, I need to, I need to move on to the next level, but that's fine. For now, I will just uh, try to see if I can get this thing sorted. Not find module Chai. So shall we install Chai again? Or shall we run it from here? Is it, it doesn't make any, any change? Okay, mm. install Chai, right? Install Chai globally. Chai 4.1 is used. Do not find module Chai. Where it is searching for mockery or JS. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm restraining to put, if I put package or JS and everything will work, guys. But I don't know. I'm just uh, cautious not doing that too many things at this point. Uh, let me, okay, let me try to see if I can get some alternative solution. Okay, expect. Yeah, first of all, we need, if you get chai, then we can do something. Okay, give me one second, guys. Let me do see. See, thing is because, you know, everything we are doing right now in the class is from the scratch. Okay, I might, did I copy paste something from a project, nothing, right? Just doing it from scratch. That's the reason why the few things, because normally this is all one time setup. You don't need to do again and again. Okay. Chai expect, I cannot find module Chai. Mm, I can do something like creating a package.json. Shall I do it quickly? Copy package.json for now. And then, uh, 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 okay, paste it. Okay, so just give me one second, guys. Okay, so if I do this, forget about all the, all the other stuff. What I will do is, the better way to do is npm install. I can save, try, that's it, right? So now it will save it uh, in package.json. Now, if I go and run, we'll see what happens. Now everything is there in the modules. Okay, striping. Yes. Okay, but still it is saying chai dot. Okay, so chai is not defined. So one second. So we are done with that that bit. Now the only thing is uh, chai. Chai is not defined. Expect chai. chai. So now not module C chai is, yeah, it's very much there. Um, okay, so why is this still here? Our assertion with chai, delete chai. Oh, okay, 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 good point, very good point. It's expert now, right? Yeah. Okay, good point. No, it's not. Good, very good point. Is that the reason the previous it failed? Yeah. 
the property text. Okay, so this. Okay, to contain. Did you mean that? Okay, so now, okay, so this is the two things. We are not using WebDriver IO or Chai, right? This is a normal Chai. Okay. Uh, so, it's contain. Yeah. No, let me go back to the WebDriver IO thing. Okay. So now this this is better than that. Okay. So what I'll do is let me let me use this. Okay. So for this, I need to do this again. Let us give it a try. Otherwise, I'll change it. Okay. Because this so this assertion is coming from that. This assertion that dot text is coming from WebDriver I go uh, chai, not this side. Okay. Sorry guys, okay, yeah. Okay, so, so one more thing in the configuration point of view, we haven't set up the impl implicit weight C. We haven't set up the impl implicit weight, right? Okay, that is one, one problem. The other problem is, so whenever we got this problem guys, so now it is saying that the element is not found, which is this, okay? So for that better, you just put a browser dot sleep and put some 10 seconds and see what happens okay so now is it a problem with the with the weights i think it should always problem with the weight so we need to put some 10 seconds for now then after that we can after that we can actually see how we can reduce that time okay by putting some kind of a it's implicit timeout and all these things okay now it is logged in then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. No, but no articles are here yet. What found? Oh, what is this? Hmm. Anyway, content, right? Why do we need to give a full line? Okay. Because it is taking two lines. One, uh, like, you know, one line, one line. Because even though it is two lines, normally, you can see that it is coming, some, sometimes your page separation and, you know, little bit of the tags in HTML will actually break. Okay. Now this is okay. Now it is running. Okay. So now, so this is what? So now you can see that after 10 seconds, it is actually passing, right? So that is the the meaning of that is the weights are too low or the weight is too much of less. Okay, so what is the weight for timeout? Yeah, it is 10 seconds. Connection data, these things is there. Okay, but I think this is a bit of, we need to put some weight, but that's fine. Okay, so let us put five seconds. Shall we run now? I think this, for now, just go like this and in next, uh, what do you call, next, uh, next class, I will tell you how to put a implicit weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, that's it. Okay. Okay, guys, now it is running. Now you got the whole thing running up and we got screenshots also. We haven't, we got the screenshot. We haven't got any HTML report because the only report that we expected is this dot report, so which is nothing but dots. So that is the reason why we haven't have any HTML report. But no, sir, if you'd like to have a HTML report, then what I would they, they, uh, say is, go to here, uh, which one you need if you want to have a J unit reporter, um, we can you do this, shall we? Okay, shall we do this? We'll get a HTML reporter and we'll be happily going home and practicing. Okay, so I'll do this, J, J HTML reporter, then I will put this option so that I will get a H, J HTML reporter as well, okay? So go to your config. Okay, in which config module like anywhere we can put it. Okay. So what I'll do is in the top, just for us to understand, I'll put this. Okay. So now we will get this. WDO, then it will hmm.
Okay, what we installed just now. Okay, so we installed one thing, right, guys? Okay, we installed JNIT reporter. It's asking to install spec reporter also because we got we had mentioned that, isn't it? Okay, so we will use this reporter, save it, and then we'll run it so that we will make sure that we got two more reports. Okay, so see, guys, this see once we got the base thing running, so configuration is not thing. Connecting to source labs, getting LDO reports, modifying the reports. This is not a big deal, guys. Uh, spec some problem. Okay, so let, let us remove this spec. Maybe some, some other problems. Okay, let's, let us run this. Cannot find. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay I'll tell you this is there is some okay, so what the problem is it's not a global repository, that's a really Okay. Okay, running now. So now we expect that something should come out. Means we should get a report. Okay, so now we can see that. Let's complete the test. We should get some report. Okay, a report written in this XML file. Okay. Yeah, okay. You got this XML file. Typically, we need to give it to JN to get that repository, that, that file. Okay. So like that, what are the reports that you need? LDO reports or what are the reports that you need? You should be able to, uh, typically this all will help you in your uh, kind of, you know, um, see this is generating a JSON report. So what are the reports that you want? You can generate and you can link it to your Jenkins. Okay. So remaining things are, guys, this all self-explanatory, but for now, just leave it like this and uh, we will uh, go home. Okay, and if you want more features, you can start writing the more features like this. Okay, guys, I know it is very, very fast at the last minute, but the only thing that I was just showing you in the last minute is about the assertions. So because we are not using Jasmine, we need to have our own assertions. That is where we have to import Chai and we have to start doing it. Okay. So that is the only thing which was a little bit hurried. Apart from that, remaining things are all cool. Okay. So now what we did, a lot of things we did. We will just I'll try to address all these things. So first, what we did, other settings, everything is done. We had created a, a step definitions. Okay, using a tidy gherkin. Okay, and then what we did, we use uh, selectors, we use uh, APIs to implement, implement steps. And in that we used the click, send keys, we use CSS and XPath, and we use, uh, what we use, we use sleep. Okay, and we have clicked on something, clicked on something, then we used a sessions. A sessions point of view, we struggled a bit because there's no inbuilt, there's no inbuilt session. That is, we have to use third party. If it is a poker, I mean, a protractor, we had just to use expected, expect it automatically comes. But here we had used this. So there is a hybrid uh, session we use now called WebDriver IO. Okay, which have more APIs like contains and all these things. So which we used. And we we use contains text, okay, and we use the locator in the UI. That's it, guys. That's it. Okay. So after that, we use uh, allure, not only reports. What is that reports we generated? JNIT XML reports. Reports we did. Okay, like that, we actually finished our session. Okay, makes sense, guys. So I'm telling again, I had literally, I had not doing anything. 
the whole framework we had built in with this last one two hours this is the best way to do it if you download some code start writing your code you don't understand where to start where to stop if you do from yourself your own your own framework then if you go to company also or this is a, this is a test that they had given or there is uh, they had given some kind of a challenge when you go to interview you can do it by yourself if you got this kind of you know skills um and you can go from there so this is the basic guys from here if i got 200 step definitions also i won't re require anything else then just use it id you can copy and paste it and write the apis here that's it okay and then use our super duper whatever apis we got example you want to do something like get text get tag name depending upon complexity of the test cases you need to use various apis that is the only thing that you need to do in the day to day jobs remaining everything you just hit here you may now you, you don't need to worry about why it is hit here how do i use this in cucumber you don't need to do anything you know everything by now it is just a matter of you understanding what is get text and there's no callback here also you can return a value and you can print the value here okay okay guys shall we go ahead for this today so next class will be page object model and a little bit of uh, browser factory uh, sorry source labs and a bit of more complex uh, reports uh, and any kind of api is little bit complex api we will take some little bit complex apis and we will test okay because this application that i am talking about is a pre react application because you people will asking about react do you know react did you automate react application now yes i i had done because you can see that it is a react application it is all react okay so you know what is react now you know how to test because this web driver io is very much sync with react okay protractor is to go angular and web driver is to react that's what people will say so it is general thing but it's not specific to react it can do anything but even though it is react it helps okay locator point of view this no no help nothing we are getting but i'm saying that if you know react web driver io you can see that you have tested react applications okay okay and implicit weights and little bit complex things in configuration also we haven't touched it but we'll touch next week which will be going to very complex bit in the web driver after that it will be simple okay guys okay so i'll send this code to you today and i'll send the recordings also hope enjoy your weekend and uh, we will meet on next week See guys, some lab session. I'm telling, I'm very disappointed because lab session is for you to ask questions. But you literally think that that is also a class, just sitting idly. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, taking the class. But last week, you know, I was really stuck because I want to do something practical and do it. And if you people are expecting me to tell some theory, which is not real, not uh, correct. I don't want to you to expect a theory out of it. I want you to expect expect a lab, which is exactly we did the last time. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sira. Thank you, Sira. Thank you, Jagdish. Thank you, Sayid. Thank you, Gopi is here also. You want to say hi to Gopi? Hello, Gopi. Okay. Bye, bye, guys. Okay, bye. Bye.